Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder Campus tour. Today we're headed to Fort Hayes State University in Hayes, Kansas. We'll take a journey through the heart of this bustling academic community where tradition meets innovation. We'll take a close-up look at some of the stunning architecture, state-of-the-art facilities, and beautiful green spaces that make up Fort Hayes State University campus. Fort Hayes State University was founded in 1902 as the western branch of the Kansas State Normal School, with its primary purpose being to train teachers for the expanding western frontier of Kansas. The campus was originally located on the grounds of Fort Hayes, a U.S. Army post established in 1867. The university's name reflects this military history. Over the years, FHSU expanded its academic offerings beyond teacher education, evolving into a comprehensive university with a wide range of graduate and undergraduate degree programs. In 1923, the university moved to this present location here in, Kansas, or in Hayes City, Kansas, as the demand for educational services in western Kansas increased. The first building we're going past here is Rarick Hall. This is the home of the College Humanities, Arts and Sciences, and the College of Education. This building is the second building on campus named in honor of Dr. Clarence Edmund Rarick, who served as the university president during the difficult times of the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl era. Ahead of us is Martin Allen Hall. This is the smallest and second oldest building on campus. Martin Allen has served numerous purposes in its 100 plus years of being in existence. The odd shaped doorway mimics the Greek alpha alphabet letter Psi, a symbol for psychology. While it was first built as a gymnasium in 1906 and previous plans focused on turning it into a library, Martin Allen is now appropriately home to the Department of Psychology. This is the Schmidt Foundation Center for Art and Design, as well as the Moss Thorns Gallery. This center with, with state-of-the-art technology was completed in 2019. Built with two separate wings and an offset H layout, the inside classroom walls of the building are made of glass, giving student artists another chance to uh, draw inspiration from the activity outside their classroom. The green space that we see here in front of us is the quad. It's covered with a blanket of soft green grass under a shady canopy of huge 100 year old trees. It's actually the heart of the campus. It's often a place where you can find students sitting at the base of trees studying, chilling out, or just catching up with friends and mentors.
Completed in 2017, the Center for Applied Technology here in front of us is home to classes in computer-aided drafting, power and energy, construction management, wood technology, metal manufacturing, plastics, technology education, and welding, as well as supporting classwork in interior design, graphics, geographic information systems, and computer sciences. We're now headed towards two of the most often used buildings here on that campus. On our left is the Fishley Will Center for Student Success. This three-story building brings student services under one roof. It welcomes students and it concentrates on academic and career support for students. On our right is Memorial Hall. This is the hub of student activity here on Fort Hayes State University. The Memorial Union serves as sort of a community center for all students, faculty, staff, staff, alumni, and guests. This is where you can grab a quick cup of coffee or take a rest between classes. It has many uh, spaces for visitors <coughs> to sit in a lounge or by themselves in order to study and has numerous offices as, as well as banquet halls and meeting rooms. Albertson Hall is home of the College of Health and Life Sciences, including the Departments of Agriculture, Biological Sciences, Communication Sciences and Disorders, and Social Work. This building also hosts one of the best cadaver labs in the state of Kansas, where students can gain hands-on experience in preparation for medical school or postgraduate study in other health-related fields. Past this construction here on the road, we see Forsyth Library. This is a comfortable space uh, for students to study, gather with friends, meet with classmates and professors, and access research material and have technical assistance provided as well.
Music often can be heard wafting through the walls and around the ground to join Malloy Hall. <clears throat> this is the home of the Department of Music and Theater. The Felton Start Theater is the site of several productions each year, including plays, musicals, operas, and concerts. Palmer Hall, a classroom and musical performance area, is also located inside Malloy. Ahead of us is Hammond Hall. Hammond Hall sits astride one of the campus's most notable features, Big Creek. On the first floor, you can often find students working late into night and on productions for Tiger Media Network and KFHS, KFHS the campus student radio station. We're now walking past the largest academic building on campus, and that's Tamonic Hall. Tamonic was constructed as the new science building in the mid-1990s. It is the primary home to the Peter Worth College of Science, Technology, and Mathematics. This massive three-story facility is home to three departments including chemistry, geosciences, and physics. This historic building that we're seeing here is Plymouth Schoolhouse. You can take a step back in time and take a look at a limestone building that was originally built in Russell, Kansas in 1874. It was the schoolhouse for Russell County way back when, over a hundred plus years ago. The schoolhouse was moved to FHSU and restored about a hundred years later. The building we're walking here on our right is Sheridan Hall. It's one of the oldest buildings on campus. 
Sheridan once served as the southeast corner of the quad and it was built as Sheridan Coliseum, a 2,000-seat arena for concerts, basketball games, and conventions. It was constructed in 1917. It was completely renovated in 1991 and now houses numerous administrative offices, including those of the president of the university. It's also home to the majestic 1,100-seat Beach Schmidt Performing Arts Center, where students and guests can attend events ranging from ballet and opera to musicals, symphonies, and bluegrass bands. McCartney Hall here on our left is home to the W.R. and Yvonne Robbins College of Business and Entrepreneurship and the one-of-a-kind Robbins Banking Institute that teaches community banking principles to prepare students considering a career in banking. Our final stop here on the campus of Fort Hayes State University is Pick and Hall. This is perhaps the most striking and iconic building on campus. It was constructed in 1904. Today it's home of academic advising, career exploration, exploration, admissions, financial aid, scholarship services, and much more. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Fort Hayes State University. Make sure to take a look for our Hayes, Kansas video by searching that in our playlist, as well as liking and subscribing this video. We will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder tour. Take care now. Bye-bye.